My brothers, we need to have a conversation about something a lot of you guys are doing that you absolutely need to stop doing as soon as possible. Uh, many of you guys message me and ask me for advice on things that originate from you potentially making them go away by fixing this one problem. So here it is. The thirst, the beta thirst needs to end. Um, I, I'm on Instagram, it's entrepreneurs underscore in underscore cars, or you can just search for Rich Cooper. So I see this all day long. Um, you know, let me go through all these messages here. Well, here, I'll get out of the DMs. So let's go here. Um, on this, now this is a, this is an Insta model. This is one of these, I'm sponsored by an energy drink, look at me work out. Here I am hot on the beach in my amazing bikini. You know, they've usually got something like $10,000 worth of, uh, you know, plastic surgery done to up their appearance. You guys know exactly what I'm talking about. This, the more seasoned men will anyway. So this is for you more noobs or to share, uh, you know, for you guys to put out there. This one guy, I'm not going to mention names because I don't want you guys harassing the crap out of them. This one guy goes, sexy baby, four hearts. Then a few moments later, six flaming something or another's. Then he's got 18 hearty eyes. Uh, and he follows up with a bunch of kissy faces in another post. Very nice. Really beautiful pick. Love this jacket. These are all things that I'm reading off here. Wow. Gorgeous. Check out her cute collections. <laughs> this one's even linking to her shop. This is a dude. This is a thirsty beta. Uh, world's most beautiful woman. Stunning, 16 kissy faces. Oh, damn, flame, kissy eyes, and a thumbs up. I could go on and on, dude. The point being is, let me go back to this original post. This chick's got just under a million followers. Again, just an energy drink model, okay? Uh, over 20,000 likes on this post with 2,300 comments, exactly. Gentlemen, you can admire beauty, but do it from afar. It's absolutely unnecessary to go pining in an environment like this. More importantly, it's about the whole no free attention concept. Um, if you guys have read Alan Roger Curry's book, it's called Mode One, okay? And what I'll do is I'll dig up a copy of it and I'll link it in the uh, description below and pinned at the top comment so you can find it quite easily. And I highly recommend that you grab a copy of Mode One. Uh, he's more of a dating coach, but there's a really interesting part of that book where he talks about no free attention. And you're probably wondering, well, what does no free attention mean? Maybe you're new around here or something like that. But what that basically means is it's got to be earned. You know, you go peppering around things freely all the time everywhere. It has no value. You know, not only are you creating problems for yourself, you're more likely to have, you know, severe cases of one-itis. You have a hard time getting over breakups. You end up in that beta thirst environment by throwing around so much free attention. It's got to be earned. You know, you only give attention where it has been earned. It's really as simple as that. You go back 100 years when we didn't have smartphones and, you know, instant communication for everything. How did women get attention then? They actually had to get presentable and go out to a social gathering, you know, to, you know, obviously didn't have nightclubs, but whatever night events they were doing at the time sort of thing and expose themselves to the public. And even then it was very limited. You know, maybe one or two guys would actually have, you know, the gumption to uh, express their attraction. Whereas today it's, you know, 23,000, you know, uh, engagements on a scenario like that is basically 23,000 thirsty betas are pining for this chick's attention. I can't imagine what her DMs look like. I mean, sliding into them all day long. I'm sure at least, you know, half of them do it. So, I mean, you're not doing anything special. You're not doing yourself any kind of favors. You're looking like a thirsty beta. You don't look like a high value, desirable dude when you're peppering around all this free attention. You know, it's as simple as economics 101, right? People only value what is hard for them to get or find. And the problem with it is it's like, okay, let's take gold as an example. The reason why gold has a value, it's about 1300 bucks an ounce right now, I think. The reason why it has a value is because it's not lying around everywhere, right? It's not like available everywhere. It's more scarce. And that's why it has a decent value. Your attention has no value on the sexual marketplace, gentlemen, when you go throwing it around, flinging it about like this all the time, you know, putting these uh, Insta thought, model energy drink sponsored chicks on such a pedestal. Uh, it's not going to work for you. It doesn't serve you. 
And in all honesty, it's not serving them either, you know, because it just overinflates their ego. You know, a lot of guys complain to me, you know, oh, I don't want to bother with the sexual marketplace or just go MGTOW because of female entitlement. Well, a lot of guys are to blame for the amount of female entitlement that these chicks have. Sure, it's super easy for them to go on a social platform and start posting sexy pictures, provocative pictures, um, you know, garner the attention of dudes. But you you guys are giving it away to them. So, you know, smarten up, honestly. Uh, with that being said, I didn't want to make this a very long video. It's kind of like a public service amount announcement because it's frustrating when I see so many guys asking so many questions like, how do I get over my one-itis? And I can't, you know, my heart, my heart's broken. She did this, that, and the other thing, and she cheated on me. Well, the first thing you can do, guys, is stop being such a thirsty beta, okay? Start there. Stop, stop the thirst and <sighs> carry some value to yourself, you know, for a change. I don't know why guys do this. It's so frustrating. Um, I'm going to close on this note. This is, this is how much attention is out there. A buddy of mine did this experiment a number of years ago where he created a, uh, plenty of fresh profile, a dating app uh, profile. Um, it's just like a seven out of 10 fake profile. Of course, you know, it was catfished, um, quick bio, but three or four decent pictures, like a seven out of 10, uh, within 24 hours, there is about a hundred messages in the inbox. I think he said within two weeks, there is over 600. So if you think that uh, chucking around all this free attention is doing you any favors on social media, like on Instagram or the chats or these people that pay for these premium chats or snaps or whatever, guys, the only reason why these women are seeking attention is because you keep giving it to them. Stop giving it to them. Make it earned. It's got to have some value. All right. On that note, let's wrap it up on today's video. See you guys in the next one. Peace.